I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. We'll be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Little handoff. Tackle made at the 24. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Adams to punt. He's taken down at the 45. Indiana is coaching staff. They know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kurt. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Watch nine, watch nine. Come on. Got an opening. And he tackles him hard at the 31. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. They'll knock him down for a loss. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. From the 35-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Deep pass to the end zone. Almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Indiana could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. Campbell ready to kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Indiana's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Makes it out to about the 33. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Get 
picks up to around the 45. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. And he's tackled at the 44. First and 10, ball on the 44. And they make the stop at about the 45. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Gets it. He's in space. He's out of bounds at the 42. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's at the 20. And down he goes at the 11-yard line. I think the key in being able to throw a good screen pass is the quarterback selling, looking downfield as if he's going to throw the ball downfield, knowing he's about to retreat and just dump it to his running back. So I think the quarterback is the key, being able to time it up, wait for that pressure to get to him, and then wait to the last possible second to deliver the football to the receiver or running back. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Nice run up the middle. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Northwestern! This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 74-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 7-3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Pitches back. He's got an opening. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle around the 47-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, second down. 
A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Blue 19. Blue 19. We're through one quarter. Wildcats lead it by four. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He's got room. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. That's good for the seven yards. That'll make it to eight yards. Third and five situation. Ball on the 48. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Grabs it and hammered right there. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his wideout. A pickup of about three. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big games. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Five wide. down as he works the left for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Has some daylight. He's tackled at the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 12. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 12-yard line. There he goes! Brought down at the one. And this is the 13th play of this drive. He's on the run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 13-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a 7-on-7 seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a deep That brings up second and 
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He fires this one. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. From the 11 yard line, it's first down. Quarter, left side, and he is drilled at the nine. The running back gets two on the carry. That was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Gets to about the eight yard line. They're at the eight. Third down. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. Western is looking to tie things up. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. I'll start. I'll start. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. Fourth down and a ways to go after the penalty. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Brought down at the 26. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He has some room. He's to the 40. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Calling a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush. So if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot, this is one way to get them out of it. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Going deep. Almost intercepted. So we've played two quarters. This one's all even at 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation 
that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. And we say it here all the time. It's not always about the X's and the O's. It can be about the Jimmy's and, and the, the Joe's. Joe's. But I think Jimmy and Joe appear to be pretty evenly matched here. And this might not necessarily be about who has the better athlete, who has the more explosive player. This might come down to which guy maneuvering those X's and O's does so the most wisely. Well, who's telling Jimmy and Joe where to line up? <laughs> they got to they gotta know where they're supposed to go. So I think it is important. And the coaches, sometimes you got to break character. You know, sometimes you know you're a predominantly run team, and that's what you do, and you're going to line up and pound it. But sometimes you face a good defense that's playing really well, but they're not going to allow you to do that. And sometimes you got to get a little bit out of character. And I think which offense or which defense can take a few chances and get rewarded for those chances, come up on the plus side of it, create a big turnover, set your offense up on the right side. How about you dial up one of those trick plays you got in your bag that you haven't used in a while that you think might could, might could work and might could maybe bust open this game and give you a little bit of separation. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He makes his way out to about the 35. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 33-yard line. He throws right. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 49-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete and they make the stop at the 48 the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen that was an excellent job by the defenders they fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop he's going to aim this one to the sideline try to kick it out of bounds Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. They'll knock him down for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 17-yard line, second down. Yeah, 
gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tackled for a loss. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run. They got the better of them that time. Makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Throws this one out to the left. What great concentration. He left his feet, made the catch, and managed to secure it when he hit the ground. That was just sensational. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 32. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's at the 20. Tackle around the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. The 10. Very good tackle in space. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. First down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Wildcats. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. This six-point lead will soon become seven with the extra point. It's still in the third quarter, but we've seen a great game the whole way. I wouldn't be surprised to see if these guys drive it back down the field again and tie it up. And he adds the extra point. Northwestern is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down to the 26-yard line. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Just throws this one away. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. On the ground, inside. They'll bring him down at the 29. That makes it 37. Fires 
fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. And now they should come away with pretty good field position, so consider that a big stop. Whitehead to punt. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm. He did a good job of picking apart the defense. Fires out to his receiver. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. That's three down and one to go. Wildcats with a touchdown lead. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Northwestern up seven points. Tackle after decent pickup. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's at the 30. He's tackled at about the 21. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 21. Caught open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 11-yard line. He's into the open field. Nice play to set up first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Brought down around the one yard line. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Quick pass. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. That's a big play right there. If they can get this ball into the end zone, you're looking at a one-possession game. First and ten, ball on the 46. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Got some open field. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Let's 
strike to his receiver. No good. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Here's a quick throw. Got a man open. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Northwestern's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. A score here might effectively end this one. Just under three to go in regulation. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. right running backs got it knocked out of bounds around the 38 yard line Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds, right around the 40. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, second down. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. He's at 100 yards rushing for the day. Brad, I watched this guy play high school football, and I really anticipated he might have a great freshman year, but this is just my mind. He has really performed well today, and his offensive coordinator has to be tickled to death. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Black five, black five. Decent run here, right side. And this play is number eight on the drive. outside for a nice game. It's the ninth play of the drive.
that's the end of the ball game and our final score of this one 24-17 Northwestern for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time